This is USBI News, your Virgin Islands connection. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for USBI News. I'm Emily Matson. A big scare on Wednesday for St. Thomas residents when a caller to 911 reported there was a tsunami. The bogus emergency call not only frightened citizens, but for a moment put first responders on high alert as well. Our USBI News, Ali Bourne Vanek, spoke with the director of Vitima to learn more about the incident. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about this hoax. Uh, we did have a hoax over on the island of St. Thomas today. Uh, unfortunately, we had a call that came into 911 uh, thinking about the water receding. Uh, there was no verification done. However, we did take initial actions to evacuate one of the community vaccination centers um, over on, on St. Thomas. Unfortunately, that caused a lot of individuals didn't have a communication to their friends. And before you know it, I'm getting phone calls from the governor, from the Senate, um, key commissioners direct asking about this. So we did the investigation and realized it was a hoax. Um, the alert VI system was used to generate a response back to the valley. It was a hoax uh, up and down in about 30 minutes. So we appreciate those individuals um, who reached out to Vitima. Uh, also, please uh, uh, sign up for Alert VI uh, at vitima.vi.gov so you get these messages. Uh, we will validate this for anything that does come out. We are in the process of putting in new tsunami sirens, upgrading our system. But unfortunately, this was not related to any of that at all. So thank you for the opportunity to clarify this. Certainly quite the momentary scare on Wednesday. Well, as we've reported, administration of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been put on hold. Dr. Anthony Fauci said the move by the Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control to recommend a pause in Johnson & Johnson vaccines was done out of an abundance of caution. The nation's top infectious disease expert says the pause will allow federal health officials to take a closer look at the rare but serious blood clot cases. Dr. Fauci would not comment on whether he thought the vaccine would return to use in the U.S. The pause is not expected to significantly impact the country's vaccination program. People say, what does the pause mean? It really allows both the FDA and the CDC to further investigate these cases to try and understand uh, some of the mechanisms of what it is, some more details about the history of the individuals who are involved. As the nation shelves the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for health concerns, vaccine maker Moderna announced their COVID-19 vaccine is still very effective at preventing disease six months after the second shot. Moderna's vaccine was more than 90% effective at protecting against COVID and more than 95% effective at against severe disease up to six months after the second dose. Now, the update brings Moderna one step closer to receiving full U.S. approval for its vaccine. Currently, Moderna's vaccine is authorized for emergency use only by the Food and Drug Administration for people who are 18 years old and older. Moderna is still evaluating its vaccine in people ages 17 and younger. The Health Department of the Virgin Islands has only been administering the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Pfizer, which uses a similar technology to Moderna, was also shown to be highly effective six months after the second dose. Well, with expanded vaccine rollouts and eased restrictions in so many states and here in the VI, airplane travel is growing once again. But new data reveals leaving the middle seat vacant on aircrafts can greatly reduce the risk of exposure to COVID-19. CDC researchers analyzed laboratory modeling to determine COVID exposure in single aisle and twin aisle aircraft. They found that exposure to virus particles could be reduced by 23 to 57 percent when the middle seats are not occupied. This, in combination with physical distancing of passengers when allowed, provides additional reductions in risk for exposure to COVID-19. The CDC recommends all airline passengers wear face masks in order to reduce exposure even further. In more health news today, people who are consistently active are apparently at lower risk for severe COVID-19. That's according to a new study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. The study looked at nearly 50,000 adults with COVID-19. The research found those who met the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services physical activity guidelines target showed significantly lower incidences of hospitalization, ICU admission, and death due to COVID-19 illness. That's at least 150 minutes per week of moderate to vigorous physical activity. If you needed another reason, here it is. 
Well, as we've reported, coral reef rescue missions are underway in the territory through the help of local divers in the Coral Disease Response Team with DPNR. Now, once rescued, some of the coral is transported to Coral World on St. Thomas for treatment. It's part of the numerous efforts they have ongoing with more on the way. They're calling this the Year of the Coral. We're going to expand our rescue facility in the future. We just started our new nonprofit. It's called Coral World Ocean and Reef Initiative, or CORI, um, which was just launched very recently. And so, um, we, like I said, we're very excited to be more involved in this type of restoration and rescue work. It is the year of the coral for Coral World. We're trying to bring the coral reef back into Coral World. And um, we would just love to have people come out and visit us um, very soon. Those efforts are wonderful that they're doing at Coral World and all throughout the territory to save our coral reefs.